Hey everyone, thanks for joining. In this video, we're going to look at the Flipper Zero's sub gigahertz read raw functionality. This allows us to record a remote when the flipper doesn't know what the protocol is. We'll then save that raw data off to a file and open it in Visual Studio Code. In a future video, we'll analyze the data, make some guesses as to how the data is encoded, and then decode the data. Finally, we'll take that decoded data, manipulate it a little bit, and try to send a different button than the one that was recorded. Okay, let's get started. We're going to go into sub gigahertz and then read raw. Click left button to go into configuration and then change your threshold based on how strong your remote is. I usually use the value about negative 70. Next, we're going to click the record button. Press a button on our remote to send the signal and then hit stop. Finally, right click to hit save. Over on our PC, we've opened QFlipper. We're going to go into the files, SD card, sub gigahertz. Scroll down to find the file that we saved, say download. And then you can change the directory if you want to save it somewhere else. And then we're going to rename this file. We use the A1 button, so we name it raw underscore A1. Okay, so over in Visual Studio Code, we're going to make a new file and we'll call it decoding underscore A1 CSV. We're going to first copy our raw file that we just exported into there. You'll notice the file type is raw file. The version is 1. The frequency is 433 megahertz. The preset is 650 with on off keying. The protocol was raw. To remove the front text, we're going to highlight raw data and then press Ctrl D a few times and then press the delete key. At this point, our file has all the numerical timings, so we're going to press Ctrl H. And then we're going to make sure regular expressions are turned on. And then we'll find in parentheses a space, the negative sign, a digit, and then we'll use the plus sign to repeat one or more of the last characters, and then a trailing space. We're going to replace that with a comma, dollar sign one for the captured text, and then slash n for a new line. We'll apply that to all matches, and now we have our CSV file. In our next video, we're going to look at decoding this CSV file. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and please leave any comments below.